Hi, I'm Liz Moira. I'm the director of the Rainham Council on Aging. I do a lot of program planning and I run the Senior Center day-to-day -day operations. The Senior Center and the Council on Aging right now, their mission statement is to help the seniors in the community and also educate them and provide programming and services for them. Peggy Evers is our outreach worker. I address frail elders, either in their homes or here in my office, um, regarding whatever needs they might bring to me. I see them for fuel assistance. I see them for food stamps. Um, it can be any number of issues that people come to me. Wist and Pequino are two card games and people really enjoy playing them. They're two of our biggest crowds. In fact, some of these people, some of the card players, come in at nine o'clock in the morning and play for the entire day. Well, I enjoy it and I, I love people. Yeah. I've always worked with people. I enjoy it very much. church used to have it every Wednesday for years and years, and um, uh, that's our pastime, and yeah, we just love it. Uh, Leston teaches line dancing at the Senior Center, and uh, she gets a pretty good crowd. She gets about 20 to 25 people, and they are really into it. Line dancing, wherever you go, whatever Senior Center you go to, is one of the most popular physical activities they do. My name is Leston Gilmore, and I'm the dance teacher here at the Raynham Council on Aging. Side, close side. I teach at two Council on Aging's, and I love my seniors. Well, I've been line dancing for probably 15 to 20 years in different places, and Leston is absolutely outstanding. Center of the Council on Aging always encourage creativity and particularly among the groups who make things. The building is really fortunate to have artwork that's been donated by the people who have made them in classes here, quilts that have been made especially for the center, and baskets that are in the crafts area up on a shelf. We have people come in for quilting on Friday afternoons. It's fun to do. It's a challenge, and I like that. And we also are fortunate enough to have a woman who comes in and does woodworking, so we encourage any type of creativity in the building at any time in any of the groups. I make things and give them to my family. I do all my stuff and give it away. coming here and visiting with the ladies. It's, it's a really good program. I carved out all the holes in it by hand in the middle and the symbol in the center is Kai. C-H-I and it's pronounced Kai and that means life. Special events here at the Senior Center in the last several months have included a luau, which included a hula dancer and a lot of catered food.
I enjoy doing that. Have you ever been with the No. Firefighters Barbecue, where the firefighters who are on duty come and volunteer to uh, cook for the seniors, and it's an annual Rainham tradition. social, which we like to have a couple of times a year, where everybody comes in and pretty much makes their own Sundays. Steve LaFlemme is a local volunteer and he's also known as Astro Geek. He did an astronomy program for the seniors one night, which included telescopes in the parking lot and a really interesting film, video, and slide presentation of pictures of the planets he's taken over the last 30 years. Hi, my name is Stephen LaFlamme. I've been in the hobby since 1978 and um, I've taken it beyond what most amateurs do with the hobby. I have a backyard observatory that I built in 1996. I currently take pictures of the things that are up in the sky. Oh, this is fascinating. Oh, my Lord. I've got quite, quite a lot of experiences with different things that I've seen up there over the past 30 years, and tonight I'm going to give a little presentation and share some of those things. So I'm going to share with you now my photo I grew up in Rainham. My mother is, is a member here, and um, my former teacher, Patrice White, is a teacher here. I had her in seventh and eighth grade when I was just getting into the hobby. I think the seniors really enjoy learning new things. One of the things I hope we're able to do here is to introduce lifelong learning, hopefully in a partnership with Bridgewater State University and other groups. And we'd also like to uh, bring younger people in, perhaps have nighttime programming, bring in a younger audience between 60 and 70, people who are still working and who aren't able to come during the day. I enjoy my job because it is different every day. And even though you get the same people every day, they're their ideas and what they want to do changes. So that's why I like it. It's constantly changing. <laughs>